Hey guys, Lucas here. Thanks for tuning back to my channel. As you can tell, the 110 scale Nico Ferrari Testarossa from 1986 is all done up. The white just works now. If Nico did white, they probably would have sold a ton of these. Uh, but yeah, so she turned out really cool. Got the uh, mirror all made. Um, obviously the white paint. Uh, the lights, LEDs are in. Let's turn that on for you. So, that turned out nice. She runs okay. I will say it's a little bouncy because the tires are like plastic more than rubber. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the stickers were a little bit of a headache because you have to take them off so slowly. You have to put those somewhere so they don't get messed up because it's paper quality. And then to re -put, uh, attach them to the car, you got to use a special adhesive. I went with 3M Mild Adhesive. It works pretty good. Uh, but other than that, no real problems uh, with this one, luckily. Now in this video, you're going to see the uh, process of the build. And then right after that, you'll see the, uh, the running portion. And uh, all that's going to start right now. So now what we're looking at is the chassis going to its cleanup stage basically so I gotta shave everything down that I don't want I don't need and get it all looking good and structured we're going to clean all this out where the servos uh, sit um, this here needs to be removed so if you're gonna put a standard servo you have to cut this back piece out there's a little bit of the alley right there that's where your servo is going to sit and be up against so take your time do that one nice and clean you can shave it all down it's no big deal you will need a little area unless you cut the tabs off uh, slotted here so your servo will stay in there and then you can um, sort of rig something up to keep the servo in what I'm gonna do is remove the setup that they have here they have a push kind of setup where a pole comes through here and pushes the steering in the, in the direction it needs to go we're gonna shave these notches off right there and then just uh, have attachments so it can have those uh, rods attached to it and to a servo saver. So that way I can fully adjust the steering how I want it. Okay, so now we gotta make a servo stay for our servo. So we got our gap cut out and we'll drop our servo in here. Um, so what I gotta do is uh, have some aluminum stock, very thin gauge, and I'm going to cut this up and uh, mount a piece of aluminum in here and then just bolt it down just like that now we got the uh, uh, servo stay it looks pretty good found a little decal I had left over it's like let's put it on there so that's cool we got the steering set up in here all that's good motor transmission housing gets pulled out of the Ferrari so I'm going to show you how to uh, take it all apart, take the motor out. It's not that hard. And uh, I'll show you. We'll start right now. So I'm just going to pinch these little prongs. Just like that. You don't have to pinch them too much. Just a little bit. Just like that. Wiggle, wiggle. It comes off. Not very difficult there. Um, now this can be a little tricky this little plastic piece because sometimes this thing sticks so luckily I've loosened up already a little bit but these sometimes can be like almost tagged in underneath here so you just gotta shake it shake it and it comes out now here's the trick part there is a trick to this so as you can tell you can only see one of the bolts here to take the motor out to get to the other one, there's a uh, method to it. And so what I'll do, I'll just press my palm up against the wheel here and just start prying, little by little. And wh why I'm doing that, I'll show you. There we go, okay. So I kinda got it about where I want. Then I, there's this, uh, the idler gear rod just kind of sort of move it a little bit all right kind of move it and then we're gonna 
move it a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so what we're trying to do, we want to tilt that bar, that pole right here down. So then we could slide the rod out because you can't because of the knob here typically so it goes up against that but now we can so we're just going to pull it on out just like that get your little needle nose pliers like we used there we go so that comes right on out now we can access the other screw okay so now as you can tell the uh, 360 RS motor is out now we need to make some motor mounts for the 540. So this top hole here, the 540 will sit right inside. So it goes right on in there. So I have a tab here that will allow me to put a, uh, to make the 540 uh, attachment bolts. So all I wanna do is line it up about right and then just make my marks, my marker. there okay and so then I gotta drill some holes out I might drill some holes out here and here and uh, that way I'll have some more strength because I'm no longer going to have the room to put this back with the 540 motor so it's not gonna fit As you can tell the motors in the pinion gears on the pinion I'm using right now is a Traxxas uh, pinion gear it's a 48 pitch 32 tooth I don't know if you see it. Let's give it some gas. I got everything mounted uh, to an ESC. Sounds good. What I want to do now is uh, modify the front headlights from this low power uh, cheesy braided with LED bulb. You get these off eBay for like a buck eighty nine, um, and they're really uh, really good. Get more of a blue tint, but uh, they're still better than that thing right there. And they don't use hardly any power. So I already got one inserted. You do have to make your opening a little larger in the back to slide in or uh, your uh, LED through. And then just hot glue it and you're good to go. Okay, so now what we're doing, we're laying down some primer on this bad boy. Okay, guys, so here we are with the body all primed up ready for uh, some white paint so it's gonna look pretty cool what I'm doing is making a mirror that one single mirror that those Ferrari Testarossas have um, I got a little eraser that I just shaped to kind of give me an idea about how I want it built and this is just a like a pencil eraser so I'm gonna use this as a template um, to give me an idea I'm just gonna uh, glue a whole bunch well, about three pieces of plastic I guess together and then shape it Okay, so now we got four pieces of little squares here or rectangles to do the mirror. Okay, so they're all sandwiched together. Okay, so it's starting to turn into something. Uh, that's pretty much done. Got to sand it a little bit more, put some primer, and paint that little mirror. Then I got to figure out a hanging uh, type of thing. All right, as you can tell, everything's blowed up. Got all the parts spread out. That way I can get to everything I need to. Car's all painted white, looking good. Motor's all done, steering's all set up. Um, got everything sanded smooth. You need to do a little modification right there for your steering on these uh, inner wheel wells. Just on the side, you can sort of see it. Um, these are just little RPM ball cups that I had. It works on this, these uh, steering rods fine for me. These are, uh, <laughs> to me, a Blackfoot, with to me, a Blackfoot, uh, uh, ball ends too right there attachments and stuff so this is a, a, a battery pack that I, I just kind of mocked up uh, it goes on the bottom of the car perfectly I made it right there to go in now we just got to put it together and uh, we'll be ready to do the running portion now for the running portion of the video Oh. 
I'd say she drives really good. Uh, it's a little bouncy. There's no suspension really on this car. Uh, but she's fast. Er. I'll do a uh, review uh, on this one as well later on. Uh, once I do a couple suspension mods in the future. I'd say it speeds around 20. All right, so now let's run it with the uh, the lights on, headlights popped up. So bring her on back. All right, so the lights are on. It does sound like a V12. <laughs> right. 540, friends. Do a little pass when it comes by. Such a bright and beautiful day. It's so hard to see the lights that I got going up. There we go. I'll do some slow passes with it. And then we'll go back to the speed. But, uh... Yeah, it turned out nice. That steering uh, design I did, like typical, you know, with the ball ends and everything, that's just so much better, guys. It takes a lot more work to do it this way, but I think it, it just runs so much nicer than some of the other ones. I think this is better. The steering response is just so nice. It's fully adjustable. All right, well, we're gonna put the lights down and uh, finish our passes. And I know everybody wants to know, will it do a 360 round? Yeah, we'll do that too. So. All right, and maybe I'll do one pass with a 3F. Now for the 3F. I'll tell you live here. Oh, it's gonna be a demon. Let's see what this girl can do with 3S power. Oh, it's going to be quick, guys. I have a weird feeling on this one. Oh, boy. Oh. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's crazy with the 3S in it. It's too fast, man. That's crazy. Bounces up too much. Runs good, though. All right, let's drive it to our stop.
All right, there she is. That's gonna be a wrap with this bad boy. I couldn't be any happier the way she turned out. If you like my video, please hit a like, and I'd love it for you subscribe. All right, guys, see you on the next one.